<laughs> How's everyone doing today? Welcome to the Wolfpack Man YouTube channel. Place for seeing old man opening old packs. Today's pack, 39 years old. Pretty excited about that. Before we get, and I, I got a little bonus 2008 Major League Baseball Tops Trading Card History Hobby Pack uh, Starter Set. Uh, five cards number 26 to 30 in there so that'll be fun too uh, just kind of a throw in um, but you guys are saying why do you have a Clemson jersey <laughs> hanging t-shirt hanging behind you I have that that was given to me by the same person who helped me win this uh, Nationals gold medal in pickleball uh, his nickname's Obi, um, and dude's awesome, and uh, and uh, we're gonna we're we're getting ready to play another tournament here shortly, and we're gonna go to that tournament as Team Clemson. So <laughs> get to be an honorary Tiger for a day. Uh, he he actually played tennis for Clemson back in the day. He's he's the same age as me, so it's kind of cool that we uh, are now pickleball brothers. So. Anyways, Fleer Baseball, 1984. Uh, there you go. Uh, again, 39 years old, 15 cards, a stick of gum. Oh, no, one sticker. No no gum. That's the good news. Two photos on each card because 40 years ago it was a big deal to get a card with two photos on it. Um, the base set, 660 cards. Pretty standard for back then. 56 of those are Hall of Fame players. Talking Johnny Bench, Carl Yaz, Fergie Jenkins, Tim Rock Reigns, Reggie Jackson, Mike Schmidt, Nolan Ryan, Cal Ripken Jr. All kinds of good players, you know, to pull. Uh, there were 71 rookies in that base set as well. None have made it into the hall, but Don Mattingly certainly deserves some consideration. Uh, Daryl Strawberry was in this group. Andy Van Flyke, Tom Candiotti. Uh, everyone remembers how rock solid Tony Fernandez of the Blue Jays was. Uh, so interesting group of rookies, you know, and the fact that none of them made it to the hall yet. So uh, let's see what we've got here, and then we'll uh, finish with that little that little tops starter set trading card history. I don't really even know what the heck that is. I'm gonna have to do some homework on that. But 2008, that was just a pack I had in my set. So what the heck. So this pack, I don't know. This wax doesn't feel very... This wax is not really coming... This feels... Could be resealed. This is, this is a pack. This is not part of my original. This is a pack I picked up on uh, eBay. So uh, always suspect when I'm buying stuff on eBay, but what the heck, it's still, it's almost a 40 year old pack to me, that is, that's just, it's worth rolling the dice to see if we get something cool, uh, so let's see, what, <laughs> or we get, or we get skunked, uh, so there's where the back, that's what the back looks like, and there's that second photo, and this is Gary Lucas, <laughs> Superstar Gary Lucas, uh, there he is. Looks like he pit alligator arm pitched that card, so <laughs> interesting. Uh, okay, we got George Brett and Gaylord, Gaylord Perry Pine Tar Incident Superstar Special, card number 638. Oh my God, that's, that is funny that they made a card of that, because I remember that. George Brett getting in trouble, man. He was he got in he got big time trouble for having that pine tar way too high up on the bat. Uh, Dan Dreesen, a uh, big red machine player. So that's kind of a cool card. Like it. Um, Chat Lemon, Chester Lemon of the Detroit Tigers. Look at all those years he played for the White Sox from '75 to uh, 81 but man from 82 on that dude was the rock of the center field of the Detroit Tigers including their roar of 84 years so that is a cool card right there 
I'm already I'm already thrilled with this pack just getting that card and that card. Uh, Floyd Rayford, Salinas, 76 and 77. He played for Salinas. So Salinas is where I went to high school, Palma High School in Salinas, California. So that's kind of funny. Uh, Ozzy Virgil. That's a classic spring training picture. Uh, John Butcher. John the Butcher. That's a great name for a pitcher. Look at that. It's a great card, actually. Uh, ben Ogilvy. He played for the Tigers, too. They're 74, 5, 6, and 7. He was a stud for them back then. He had 21 home runs, 15, and then he went to the Brew Crew and tore up. So... So Tigers got him going, and then he finished hard with the with the Brew Crew. Uh, Roy Smalley, Yankees infielder, kind of yeah, I remember him more for the Twins. Uh, that's cool. Bobby Brown, fine, didn't didn't hang in uh, in baseball, so he went on to have a rap career, as I recall. <laughs> just, just, just kidding. <laughs> uh, Jesse Orozco. That guy was good. That guy was a really good pitcher. This is one of her, his earlier cards. Uh, 1984 Reds checklist. And I'm seeing Johnny Bench, Concepcion. Um, hmm, that's kind of it left over from the dominant 1970s. You know, di Dan Dan Dreesen's mentioned in there, but that's so you had Bench and Concepcion. Oh, and then the Yankees. Oh, Billy Martin. So you got Yankees side with Billy Martin. Uh, there's your Don Mattingly reference right there. Uh, do we have Reggie? Nope. Dave Winfield, Greg Nettles, Ken Griffey. Senior, Don Baylor, Burt Campanaris. That's kind of an interesting uh, Billy Martin card. Oh, the Andy McGath again. Lee Tunnel. Rod Carew. Hitting runner up, California California Angel Rod Crew fell short of winning his eighth American League batting title in 19th when he finished second with 339 average to Wade Boggs 361. <laughs> Still, 15th year that he topped 300. Wow, Rod Crew superstar. And that card is not cut well, is it? <laughs> oh, well. And then here's St. Louis Cardinals 1983 uh, sticker. So there's the last thing in the in that pack was the St. Louis Cardinals sticker. And like I said, here's this pack. I'm not sure what's in here. Um, five cards. Again, cards 26 to 30, 1980. 2008 Major League Baseball trading card history tops in its hobby edition so they must have been giving these away at fanfare and trying to get you to buy something but which Lord knows I bought a lot of stuff there so so whatever it was it worked uh, let me get scissors out. This two pieces. Huh. Or maybe I won't get scissors out. Oh, there they are. Sorry. <laughs> Did not know this pack was going to be this hard to get open. All right. Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. So we got a card with Ken Griffey Sr. Uh, his name on it, and then finish that up with a Ken Griffey Jr. actual Ken Griffey Jr. card. Here's trading card history. This is TCH30, Ken Griffey Jr. 
66 tops. Oh, those are kind of neat. Wow, those are real neat. I like it. See, we've got Jimmy Rollins. It's card number 29. And this is a reference to, oh, T205. Here is 1959. Chin Lung Hu. I don't remember him. Chin Lung Hu. But there he is. Someone tell me something about Chin Lung Hu. <laughs> David Wright. For the Mets. Oh, check that card out. That's kind of sweet. And the last one is Ryan Howard. 1982 tops. Look at this. And we just, uh, that's funny. We opened an 84 pack, and that's referencing an 82 tops layout. So that was kind of cool. So, uh, so there you go. Fleer, pack of Fleer, 1984 baseball, and then uh, 2008 tops trading card history. And uh, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you on the pickleball courts, or I'll see you tomorrow with another pack of cards. Peace and pickleball, peace and pickleball. <laughs> Talk to you later.